Hola, that's Spanish for how do. Here we are again with another one of my uh, game diary thingy collection bloggy thingamabobs. Right, today we're going from GE to MA because they're the fighting games that are on the current shelf. And that round of, rounds it out about 12 minutes. Yeah. So, what have we got today? We'll start off with, and if you saw some of my other ones, uh, that, Get Fit With Mel B. Uh, I got it because it was about five or 10 quid and it was my first game to use my move with. I've played it once. Next two games, God of War Collection with God of War 1 and 2 and God of War 3. Haven't played God of War 3 yet because I can't bring myself to finish God of War 1 because it is so unbelievably boring. People say God of War 2 is the best but as I want to play them in order and I can't bother to complete one I will never find that out I suppose. Fun. <laughs> Next up, da -da 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 -da, Ghostbusters. You all know it, you all love it. Except somebody the other day who told me they'd never seen Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, Vicky from work, Vicky Ward. There's a shout out that you don't hear very often. Unless you're ever talking to you. <laughs> Going, get her, get her. <laughs> anyway, Ghostbusters, the video game, great game, absolutely loved it when it came out. It's kind of a sequel to Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Paul Cross is online. Shout out, yeah boy! Um, <laughs> that'll make his day. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of a sequel to Ghostbusters 2. And uh, it's got Mr. Stay Puff, the Marshmallow Man, back in it again. And as you can see, it's got all the four original casts and their likenesses. Yeah, as you can see that. Except the one I had my finger over. Uh, they provide the voices and everything, which adds a bit of extra awesomeness to it great game I'd recommend it although I was quite annoyed when I completed it and accidentally overwrote my save so I had to start it all again couldn't be bothered uh, moving on Hasbro Family Game Night Volume 3 with with I don't know my directions Cluedo Twister Game of Life Mousetrap and Yahtzee don't know anyone who's actually played Yahtzee full stop ever. Uh, Mousetrap, always a good game. Never actually played it with all the pieces because I think that's how it ships. It just doesn't come with all the pieces. <laughs> now you might think how you play Twister in a game. It's basically just pressing all the square, simple buttons, square, triangle, circle and X to a rhythm. It's over in about two minutes. Volume 3. It's part over from the Wii version, came out on disc, whereas Volume 1 came out on PlayStation Network Store, download only. Uh, 20 quid for 256 meg, not winning, not winning at all. Charlie Sheen knew about that, he would come down and just hit you with his Adonis DNA, winning. Anyway, Cluedo, uh, yeah, great fun, <laughs> played it with some people. Paul, Emma and Will and Sally. Uh, God, there's a bit of name dropping going on in this video, isn't there? Yeah, played with them. None of us could really be bothered to look away from the screen when we were choosing uh, who did it, what with and where. So it was just a case of whittling down the choices, really. Mousetrap, Game of Life, Cluedo. Take quite a while to play. Mm, averagely fun. Didn't really cost a lot, so not fussed. I can't believe I spoke, I spoke more about that than Ghostbusters. Crazy. <sighs> History's Greatest Battles, Medieval. Wah, 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 wah. Did a video blog on that recently, so I'll just gloss over that. Got it quite recently, quite fun. It's kind of what you'd expect from a History Channel produced game, to be perfectly honest. The online is dead. Uh, padding it. Pam, shout out. Uh, and Dave, if he gets it, I suppose. Dave Hero, the hero. But that's me, the hero. He's stolen my name. Uh, 
<laughs> Everyone knows I am the hero. Just it, look at my Facebook, it even says Occupation Hero. IL2, Sturmovic, Birds of Prey. Emron Will bought me that for my birthday last last year. 20, 2009 or 2010, one of the two. Can't remember. No, not a bad game, quite good. Especially considering it's by five or five games who make Naughty Bear. Uh, it's a good game if you've ever played the IL2 games on PC, which I haven't. Although Will did keep telling me to. <laughs> um, yeah, World War II game, you fly around, quite nice graphics. Looks really nice, flying a jet over the uh, jet, what am I talking about, it's World War II. Flying a Spitfire over the White Cliffs of Dover, very, very good imagery. Uh, and flying a uh, Messerschmitt over the, the Mazaland. Yeah, it's very, very fun. Until you advance the difficulty and then it's unbelievably difficult. Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gar Hall. Again, got it for $8.99 from game.com, much to Pam's dismay when she paid the American dollars equivalent of about £30. Booyah! Um, I'll get that looked at. It's not working properly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, easy trophies, really easy platinum, but surprisingly fun. One of the better movie tie-ins I've ever played, to be perfectly honest, possibly the best. Which is funny, because it's not even a movie tie-in, it's just got the name and the owls. It's more of a sequel to the movie than it is an actual game. Uh, of the movie, I should say. Yeah, I watched the movie recently, that was lots of fun. Quite enjoyed it. Really nice CGI effects in it as well. Flying around. And as I'm obviously making a fool of myself with the mullet wig, then I may as well do an impression of an owl. There you go, something you don't see every day. Lego Harry Potter, or as the uh, gangsters say, H. Piddy. Years one to four. I like the Lego games, except Batman was surprisingly not very good. The best one, of course, Lego in Johnny Jones 2. Sorry, Lego in Johnny Jones 1. But two's coming up in a second as part of the Lego Doodly Bobs section. Don't know why I've opened the case, really. I should really get around to completing this, really. Haven't seen any of the films. I bought it for Lego, not for Harry Potter. Uh, yeah. Oh, on the back it says fear with a big spidery icon. And then on the front it says rated for seven year olds. So presumably the fear is wet in your bed. Uh, yeah, so apparently it's based on the movies, but I won't know, I've not seen them. Also, I refuse to pay more than 25 quid for a Lego game, which is lucky because that's 24 dollars know. Lego Indiana Jones 2. Da, da, da. The adventure continues. I played the first one on PC. It was excellent. One of my favourite games ever. Then the best Lego game. Uh, don't know why I looked at the TV. The camera's down there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically, what you uh, what it is, it's. Kind of like a reimagining of the original three films with a reimagining of the Crystal Skull, such as it was. God knows it needed one. Uh, and that's not sarcasm. Yeah, so uh, to be fair, the original three re envisioned in this pretty good. Crystal Skull, pretty bad. But to be fair, so is the film. Uh, oh, number players too. Yeah, never played it more than play. Support trophies. As we all know. Le Too fat. Lego rock band. Slight rock band with Lego figures. The songs are more pop rock than proper rock. But there's some good ones on there. Kyle Douglas, Kung Fu Fighting. Europe, Final Countdown. Foo Fighters, Breakout. Uh, Ray Parker Jr., Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> It's got small All-American Rejects on it, so, you know, it's good, isn't it? 
Swing Swing is the one on there, I think. It's got a bit of banjo on there as well. You know, that kind of jazz. Usually with your normal rock band instruments. To be fair, it's more fun than normal rock band as well. Which is, of course, useless rubbish now, but we'll get to that when I, I keep the games over there. I'm not just looking over there for no reason. I'm gonna, I don't like this track. There we are. Night Rider soundtrack, very rare. Not a lot of people have got it. I have, because I'm awesome. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry, box office bust. My God, what a game. Yeah, yeah, it's such a great game that Chris Pyatt, shout out to the Sea Pizzle. I took it around to his house before I ever played it online and got three, trof three trophies. And he's actually embarrassed at having them on his trophies list, which to be fair is understandable because it really isn't a very good game. Hence why it was in the two for 20 quid deal at work. Not giving them a shout out. Little Big Planet. There's uh, Sack Boy, as everybody knows. Uh, well, pretty much everyone knows what Little Big Planet is, or my special little friend, as we've nicknamed it, because it's he looks kind of retarded. Can you say that on this? I'll find out. See you next. Say what you want. Uh, yeah, it was all right. Uh, who is it who does the narration? Can't remember. Stephen Fry. Yeah, Stephen Fry does the narration, which is kind of fitting considering the kind of game it is. You know, a bit. But it's, yeah, it's not a bad game. It's fun, it's different, but not enough fun to complete it. And it's, it's, it's the same France, the piece de la resistance. But probably, you know, better French than that. A Mass Effect 2. The game I've been waiting my entire life for. Excellent game. This has got the uh, three original DLCs with it. Uh, Kasumi Stolen Memories. Not the same Kasumi from Dead or Alive, obviously. Overlord and Lair of the Shadow Broker. The Kasumi one and Lair of the Shadow Broker were good, but Overlord was terrible. PS came out about a year after it did for Xbox and the third one comes out at the end of the year cannot wait if there's a collector's edition believe me when I say I will be buying it it's like a sci-fi epic you know you've got to go and save humanity by defeating the collectors and overall the reapers well you get to that in the third game if no one's played it whoops what are you gonna do uh, uh, was there anything else I wanted to uh, show? Can't think of anything, so that's me, Fragpus, as I'm known online. Also BMD2409, which stands for Blackmaster Deluxe. Uh, checking it out. Keep it real. <laughs>